What's up guys, it's Aiden, and today we're gonna go through how Drake's Headlines was made. Let's get into the video. This is video three out of the four installment of the 200,000 subscriber celebration. If you wanna watch video one and see these videos in order, you can check it out up there. This beat was produced by Boy Wonder and Noah 40 Shabib. And once again, big shout out to the sponsor of this video, making these videos possible, Cymatics. Make sure you check out their Ultimate 808 Bundle, which is a bundle exclusive to you guys in the description below. This 808 bundle contains five 808 packs as well as their 808 Enhancer plugin Vortex. And for a limited time only, you can get all five of these kits as well as their 808 Enhancer for a massively discounted price. So here we have some really high quality 808 samples. So feel free to support the channel and check out their high quality 808 collection in the description below. I'm calling this video 100% accurate because we have found all of the exact presets and samples from the original song. And what's funny about these presets and samples is that almost all of them were either from Nexus or from a BWB pack, the BWB Beats Bangin' Kit 4. And you will literally be able to find all of the samples from this song in this one pack. So let's start off with the main preset that plays throughout the entire song. So the preset we're using is the Dark Synth Brass in their factory presets. It's gonna sound like this. And for effects, all we're adding is Parametric EQ2 for a low pass filter and a high pass filter. And we're layering that with the Dark Horns 2 preset from Nexus. Once again, almost all of these presets are from Nexus. And that's gonna sound like this. Then for effects, we're gonna be adding some RC20, adding heaps of wobble, distortion, and some space reverb, then also Parametric EQ2. So that's gonna sound like this. Man, such a good song. Then we're layering in one more brass preset from Nexus. This is once again from their Dance Orchestra expansion. It is the Brass Staccato 2 preset. And that's gonna sound like this. Oh man. Okay, so in the song. That's also playing with the 70s Vinyl Strings 1, which you can also find in their factory presets. And this is a pretty menacing preset. It's gonna sound like this. Now let's add in the drums. First off, we have this snare coming in and it's gonna play this pattern. Then we're layering in a clap. So this one is in their claps. It is the clap dry 19. Then we're backing it up with a second snare. And we're going into envelope settings and making this envelope with the sus brought up to 100% and the release brought up to 4%. So it's gonna sound like this. Then we have this kick coming in. This is the BWB Kick 15, which if we bring up the original song, you can see by comparing the waveforms that it matches perfectly with the original song. So that's gonna sound like this. We actually have three 808s playing in this song. Once again, from the same BWB pack. I don't know why they didn't check out any other packs for this song, but they just loved this pack for some reason. The first 808 is really short. It's gonna sound like this. And this plays at the same time as the kick. Then we're adding in this open hat. It's gonna sound like this. As well as the BWB Hi-Hat 1. For some reason, we're bringing it up by 50 cents, which I saw by comparing the EQ to the original song. And as you can hear, there's a slight reverb on this hi-hat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the envelope settings and make this envelope. And once again, bring the sus or the hold up to 100%. And we're playing this pattern. And what I like here is that some of the notes here are play a little bit longer, so the reverb comes in. So in the song. <laughs> then 
then at this point here, when he goes, oh, don't do it, please don't do it. We're adding in another 808. Once again, all of these samples are from that one BWB pack and they're the identical samples. So for whatever reason, they just used that one pack. So in the song, Then we're coming into the chorus. So here we have two more 808s coming in. The first one is gonna sound like this. And the second one is a bit more harsh. And for these 808s, we're adding some pretty fast distortion. We're playing this pattern. So this is the first 808. And this is the second 808. As you can see, we have some pitch slides going on here as well. So it's gonna sound like this. And we have one more preset coming in with this second 808. You can find this preset from Expand 2. It is the Eurodance preset, which you can find in their soft leads. There it is right there. It's gonna sound like this. That's all of the identical samples and presets from the original song. So this is the final result. Anyway, that is it for video three out of the four installment. Next up is Travis Scott's No Bystanders. So if you're on the premiere, stay tuned. It's coming out right now. Or if you're watching this in the future, you can check it out right up there. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time. Oh.